My mom recently passed away. She's had heart failure and the fact that it was considered she had dementia, even though it was proven not to be, and more likely it was the heart failure affecting her cognitive function in her brain. Through the work that we've done on heart failure and trying to understand the outcomes of heart failure, people who live with heart failure, we've known from previous research that uh, cognitive impairment, and specifically dementia, has a major uh, impact on their outcomes. We don't really understand how the heart failure and the brain are connected because there has not been a lot of research in this area where the brain scientists and the cardiac scientists are working together collaboratively. This is a large team grant, over 50 investigators across Canada who are focused on studying the interactions between the heart and the brain. And so we have neurologists, heart specialists, engineers, computer scientists who do artificial intelligence collaborating together to kind of see how heart and the brain interact in terms of various cardiac and neurological diseases. I had a uh, trans ischemic attack. It came out of the blue. I was up at my uh, chalet washing dishes, doing nothing active, and uh, all of a sudden I just felt a loss of sensation in one hand, and then next thing I knew I was on the floor. I collapsed. I couldn't move. I was completely paralyzed. My wife called 911. I ended up with Dr. Saposnik and he's the one who confirmed that it was a TIA. But he also made an interesting other discovery, and that is that he said, I believe that you've had a silent strokes throughout your life. He speculated that I probably had a history. This had been going on for decades. When somebody has chest pain, the cardiologist may do some blood tests to identify whether or not there is a cardiac injury. Unfortunately, in the brain, we don't have that. So our hope is to be able to uh, use artificial intelligence to be able to combine different factors and identify a specific marker that may guide us in differentiating why somebody is having a stroke or a minor stroke or a cognitive impairment. In the ideal world, we would have biomarkers that will tell us if we're at risk for dementia. Even before we know, we have the first symptom of dementia. We will be able to personalize care for heart failure patients so that we prevent cognitive impairment from occurring. And so really the focus of this grant is on earlier diagnosis so that we can intervene earlier before and perhaps prevent some of the major diseases from happening in the first place.